New Church Methodist is halfway up Turnpike between Waterfoot and New Church. If you're going up, it's on the right hand side. It's set back, um, but we have a new notice board that you can't miss. So have a look for it. You'll see it's got the name of our minister, uh, Reverend David Burrow, and his number, and it's got mine as, as the lay employee as well. My job entails working with all age groups, all the different groups as groups within the churches, uh, home visits, organising functions, setting up training, a whole variety of things really. I assist the ministers basically. Well at New Church we've got all kinds of things happening. We've got different groups during the week, some run by the church itself and some uh, outside groups who actually use the premises. Just thinking through the, the actual week, Monday is a busy night. Monday morning we've got toddlers, parents and toddlers. Monday night is a very busy night because we've got our rainbows, brownies and guides. And they're uh, perhaps as up to 60 or 70 on any one Monday night actually in the building. And they have a wonderful time. Uh, all sorts of activities. They go away on camps or they go and visit all kinds of different places. And they, they really have got... A, you know, a, a smashing group, smashing groups there. Uh, Tuesdays again, we've got toddlers. We've got uh, martial arts in the evening, Dragon Zen martial arts. Wednesdays we have uh, over fifty fives, our um, our over fifty fives group called Younger Heart. We have all kinds of activities going on there. Some frivolous, some fun, some serious. Um, we have a great time and uh, that's every Wednesday afternoon. We have a rock band coming in to practice on a Wednesday night and also the Women's Institute but not on the same night <laughs> because they alternate some Wednesdays. Thursdays is our coffee morning and we also have uh, ballroom dances. We have a youth group. Uh, the ballroom dancing is uh, Thursday nights. The youth group tends to be Sunday nights. Uh, more often than not, perhaps sometimes once a month. That again is slightly um, original in that it's called Cafe Sunday and it's very informal. Fridays and Saturdays tend to be a variety of things depending. Some people hire the building for different things, for training courses um, or um, perhaps that speakers come in to, to talk on different topics. So really what we want to sort of promote is usage of the building because it's a modern fit for purpose building we've spent time and money on it making it so so and uh, increasingly I think churches are opening the doors for the community which I think is good but as far as community usage for any kind of uh, health social care social well-being um, or even just coming and, and having uh, children's groups training groups have a good time we're up for it the Methodist Church runs as a circuit and we are part of that circuit so we do interact very much with the other churches as well and we do joint things too with them. With the other we, We've got churches in, uh, in, in Crochet Booth, Rottenstall, New Church, Stacksteads, Shawforth and Bakeup. So for example if, um, if Help Direct come to New Church I can pass that information on to the other churches and they can come to an advice session and do and do the same there. So that is a great advantage really, in that we're not just an individual church, we are a network in the valley and fairly central in all the, in all the different uh, towns, valley towns. I think we've got two primary objectives because I think as a church you would expect us to, um, to worship God and to serve God, but part of that serving God is undoubtedly to um, serve people in any way that we can and that's what we'd like to do. If anybody would be interested in, in using the premises or just finding out more or just coming and having a look at us, just come and we'll have a look around and we'll have a brew and we'll just sort of show you, show you the church and what there is and we could take it from there couldn't we?